Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. OpenAI have just released something called Tasks. It's in beta and it is basically a version of ChatGPT or a model that allows you to do things or to remind you to do things at a future time. So whether it's one-time reminders or recurring actions, tell ChatGPT what you need and when and it will automatically take care of it. If we look at the example shared on the OpenAI ChatGPT main uh, x.com page, the example here is remind me to work out every morning at 9.30 a.m. and pump me up with a motivational speech. So what it will do is it will create that task uh, as it is here and then got it. I'll remind you every morning at 9.30 a.m. So it set that task that every single morning you will get a notification. Here's an example of that in the notification center on your phone or on your desktop. You will get time to crush your workout at 9.30 a.m. Time to work out a little bit of a motivational message. Alrighty, so here are a couple other examples uh, that you could maybe set as reminders or tasks that you want to do on a recurring basis. So say you want to practice Italian daily at 8.30 p.m. Um, maybe you want to say it in the knock-knock joke. That's not really that useful, but hey, if you if you find that funny, I guess you could do that daily at 9 p.m. Um, send fantasy uh, basketball recap. I play fantasy uh, uh, Premier League or fantasy football, so that's of interest to me. Start your day with affirmations. If you're one of those people that really have affirmations and you 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 know say them to yourselves every single morning, daily at 7 a.m. Maybe send create the economy summary, which is more of a research based thing. For me, I'm thinking of things like AI research or basically AI trends, and you know asking um, tasks or ChatGPT or tasks to send that to me on a daily basis uh, when I wake up in the morning maybe a meal plan send a meal plan this is a little bit interesting because uh i think if we were to send you a meal plan probably would need some basis information that it would know about you or is it just going to maybe send you a random meal plan um which is quite uh you know i don't know how useful that would be uh check news resolutions uh if you've popped in your your resolutions it can keep you accountable which is pretty cool Man monthly on the 11th and then your cousin's birthday. I like this feature. I always forget people's birthdays. So um, literally take an Excel spreadsheet, write out all everyone's birthdays or a Word document, write out everyone's birthdays and the dates, pop that into ChatGPT and say, schedule these tasks. Um, that would be pretty cool. So that on those days or the day before, you get notified, hey, tomorrow is whoever's birthday. So you know to wish them. OpenAI have said tasks have been rolled out to Plus Pro and Teams members. So it's just the free users that do not have it. And eventually to everyone with a chat gpt account so i think down the line that will become a free tool at the moment it is only for plus pro and teams members unfortunately again a couple more examples of ways this is being used i guess in a more practical manner from karina win she is a researcher and engineer at openai so she's provided four examples we'll just explore them a little bit here um, one she's done is check the apple stock price so at 10 a.m. every morning, check for Apple stock and tell me the price. So it's set that task over there. Got it. I'll check the stock price every morning at 10. And you can see at 10 a.m. or as of 9.59 a.m., it sends her a little update on what the stock price is and actually a little embedded graph of the Apple stock price, which is pretty cool. The next example over here is got to do with, this is pretty cool, is... At 9.30 a.m., a model should write a new sci-fi story via Canvas. So if you've used ChatGPT Canvas, it is basically an interface where you can write and then edit um, documents. So, for example, write me a sci-fi story, and then you can go and add comments to that. You can make edits, and it will you know, kind of keep refreshing that document to, to update it rather than recreating it every single time and you know canvas is uh perfect for that so you can see here at 9 30 a.m got it i'll write a new sci-fi story every morning at 9 30 and it has created a little canvas window over here with the story and sent her an update so every single morning you can see the uh, sci-fi story has been updated to you know a, a with a new story within canvas itself so pretty cool another example here was in learning a new language so in this case spanish um so she's asked you know she wants to be taught a spanish word one word every single day at 9 a.m um so she's asked for that here's your new spanish word for the day i'm not gonna take uh i'm not even gonna try and pronounce that it means sunrise or to dawn you can use it in a sentence like let me know if you know once another word 
So she's done that. And then uh, one that I've, uh, I'm going to try out now is check the headlines about AI each morning, check the headlines, and then you'll get that as a response. So we'll check that out and do a little bit of a practical comparison soon. And then one for the coders um, is here is send me a new coding problem every morning at 9.52 a.m. The context of this was say you're prepping for an interview and you know it's a technical interview, it's based on coding and you want to kind of practice up until that interview. So you can ask for it, give me a new coding pro problem every morning at 9.52 or at whatever time. And you can obviously do it in any programming language and you can you know set something, you know, I want an easy coding problem or something more difficult. So the interesting thing about tasks is it's a completely new model. Uh, it's used GPT-40 um, and added tasks to that. So what I am assuming is that they've fine-tuned the uh, GPT-40 model to allow for the scheduling of tasks because the normal GPT-40 or any of the other models uh, don't allow you to schedule tasks. So for example, if we just use GPT-40 and we try and schedule something to say, uh, remind me every morning at 7 a.m. to do my stretches before going to the gym you'll see it does say got it i'll remind you so i'm like okay maybe a task has been set um so i'll say okay so will you remind me tomorrow morning so it says i can't send real-time reminders but uh you can send uh set one on your phone or calendar app so it's not setting the task if we go to GPT-40 with scheduled task and we literally copy and paste the exact same thing, we can then, you'll see the difference. It cr says creating tasks, do stretches daily at 7 a.m. Sure, I'll remind you every morning and then turn on desktop notifications. If you're on your phone, you'll turn on notifications on your phone. So if I say allow, there you go, that's been set. So every single day that has been set. We can then go ahead and pause these um, tasks or we can edit them so in this case do stretches tell me to do my stretches before going to the gym daily at 7 a.m we can change that to weekly monthly annually we can customize it we can do it for any single time we can further improve the instructions uh, we can also delete the reminders Alrighty, so let's do a little bit of an example there's two use cases i see myself using this um, one is around daily news and trends so if i say on a daily basis at 8 a.m. every morning. Please send me the latest research on AI trends, news, and insights. So it set that up there. Now let's go and edit this. It's 11.39 right now. So I'm gonna actually change this to go off at 11.45. Uh, actually, I think we can change. Uh, you can only do it in 15 minute intervals. So 11.45 and then we'll come back and we'll see what the result looks like. It's just gone 11.45 a.m. Uh, I'm going to refresh my page and see if we've received anything in this chat. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it did work. At 11.45 a.m., um, here is the latest research on AI trends, news, and insights, advancements in AI applications, scientific research. So there's something from the Atlantic from the 14th of Jan. There's one from the Times and the Sunday Times, from investors, New York Post, brands. You know, it, it's, it's doing what we wanted it to, right? It's giving us AI news. It's doing it off of real news. It's not hallucinating. I would probably do quite a bit to improve this because this is kind of just, you know, a consolidated amount of, of AI news. Um, so maybe we further improve the prompt um, to be very specific as to these are the places I want you to get your research from. To be honest, I don't get a lot of, I don't get nearly any of my research from or any of my news from, from this. Um, it's more, you know, a lot of blog posts, newsletters, x.com. So maybe create a, Reminder to look at x.com for the latest AI news and trends from, you know, these notable people. Maybe that could work. Um, but, you know, it, it's done what we've asked it to, which is cool. I'm having a look at the comments and just to see what the community is saying about the announcement by OpenAI of tasks. And, you know, I've gone, kind of gone through this a little bit, but I'll highlight a few ones. Is, um, you know, like from Dan Stone, uh, this is what Siri could have been. Um, you know, can't believe OpenAI is releasing a to-do app. Can someone explain the use case of this over calendar app? 
there's a lot of these comments and rightfully so tasks is not this revolutionary concept right if you use zapier or make.com or an automation platform you already can do this um and you can do it better than this you can integrate your calendar you can integrate other applications you know you can use multiple llms um, so you you know task is not really doing anything new but where i see open ai is gearing towards is that whole agentic ai idea for 2025 and that this is just a starting point so i think that needs to be kept in mind is that tasks is just the starting point and this is only going to further uh, improve there's also quite a number of limitations on tasks at the moment you cannot upload documents you cannot use voice the only thing you can do is um, basically set tasks like we like i've shown you in the examples and second of that is uh, is generate images using dolly and you know in my opinion dolly is not the best at generating images so i don't even know what a use case would be do you want a new image every morning that's going to motivate you i don't know so yeah uh, task at the moment really basic um, to be honest kind of boring but with that agentic ai mindset open ai are, are launching this with that in mind i believe that down the road this is only going to further improve and eventually you know you will have these multi-agent workflows um, that you can set up you know just from an app on your phone or, or, or by using chat gpt on your desktop i'll leave you guys with this one last use case which i think is a really cool use case for tasks uh, before that i do want to say um, thank you for watching. If you got some benefit out of this, please do like and subscribe. About 90% of the viewers on this channel are not subscribed. So if you're watching this and your little button says subscribe and not subscribed, and you got some benefit out of this, please do consider liking and subscribing. It does wonders for the channel. So I'd really do appreciate it. That being said, the use case uh, that popped into my head this morning is to cancel free trials. So the amount of times I start using a new AI tool because I'm going to review it or whatever the case is and I end up not liking it or it doesn't fit into my AI tool budget and I want to cancel and then I forget to cancel and I see that payment go off and I've got another month of this thing that I'm not using and I've spent 40, 50, 60, sometimes up to $100 um, for that month. So really irritates me and the ability now on tasks to go as soon as i start a free trial to say hey i've started a free trial for i've started a seven day free trial for product x i want to cancel it in six days please do remind me and it'll send me a reminder the day before so i can go ah oh, yeah i need to i need to cancel that and i can go and action it you could probably set up a workflow in zapier and make that could just cancel it for you but this is about tasks and how we can use it and i thought that was a cool use case so i'll leave it at that thank you guys um try out tasks let me know what you think in the comments and i will see you guys on the next one cheers